All right, this lesson is factoring ax squared plus bx plus c. So in the last couple of lessons, we just factored x squared plus bx plus c, or plus or minus, plus or minus right there. But the, now we're going to have a number in front of there. Okay, so uh, we'll, we're going to do a, a lesson that's called factoring by grouping first in here. So don't forget all your lessons can be found right there. And so... Let's start off by factoring by grouping here. So we did a couple of these in the in uh, two lessons ago. So remember when we have a common binomial factor, we can pull that binomial factor out. So we'll pull this blue x plus 4 out. It becomes 1x plus 4, and we're left with the red stuff here. So the 1x plus 4 gets factored out, and we're left with 2x minus 3 right there. Okay, let's try that with this one here. Now this one says y minus 2, and this one says 2 minus y. Okay, I can make this a, two, a y minus 2 if we change this sign right here. So if we pull a negative out, so right here this plus becomes a minus sign right there. And what that does is makes this uh, become y minus 2 inside right here. Okay, now we can factor out a y minus 2. So they both have a, we'll pull out the blue y minus 2, and we're left with the red stuff, 3y squared minus 5, okay? The trick was right here, this is y minus 2, this is 2 minus y. You can make this y minus 2 by changing this sign right here to a minus 5. So if that was a minus 5, I'd change it to a plus 5. So just make sure you change this sign out here, and it'll flip this around the minus sign right there. Okay, all right, so this one here, you guys, you can't see that right here. So what we got to do is we're going to group these first two together and GCF out uh, an X squared out of these two guys. And then out of these two guys, we can GCF an 8 out. So, so here we're going to... Uh, group the first two together and group the second two together and we'll GCF out of these guys a blue x squared well a red x squared sorry okay so when we pull out a red x squared out of that then we're left with x plus two and if you're wondering how does that work re remember if we uh, distribute this x squared back through we'd get that x squared times that would get that and then out of these two guys we can pull an 8 out so when we pull an 8 out of x 8x we are left with x and we pull the 8 out of 16 we're left with 2 and again remember if we just distribute that 8 back through we'd be uh, back up here all right so now they both have the common x plus 2 so when we pull that out then we're left with x squared plus 8 okay let's try that with this one here all right, so out of these two guys, we'll pull out a 4y, and out of these two guys, we'll pull out a 5. And watch what happens when we do that, okay? So we pulled a 4y out of these guys, and we pulled a 5 out of these guys, and we're left with the same binomial, y minus 3. So now we can pull the y minus 3 out, and so we're left with the blue stuff, 4y plus 5, okay? All right, I hope that's making sense, you guys. So let's try this one here. This one's a little bit out of order right here. It's not in descending order. So let's put it in descending order or standard form we've been dealing with, okay? So we'll put it uh, 2m cubed minus 10m, 10m squared, and we'll, we'll rewrite this as plus 3m and then minus 15, okay? So let's just rearrange it right there. And then we'll group these two guys together and then group these two guys together and GCF out, okay? We can pull a 2m, 2m squared. Remember, we always pull the smallest power of the variables out, so we'll pull 2m squared out right here. And here we'll pull a 3 out here. So when we pull each one of those out, we're left with the same binomial left over, so m minus 5, m minus 5. So when we pull that out, we're left with 2m squared plus 3, okay? Let's try another one here. All right, so we'll group these two guys together, and we can pull a x squared out of these two guys. Out of these two guys, what can you pull out of that? And it's not nothing. You can always pull out something. We can pull a 1 out. A 1 is a GCF with those guys. So when we do that, then we're left with the common uh, binomial factor, x plus 3. Can you see the 1 hiding right here? 1x plus 3 when we distribute the 1 through. Okay. And then when we pull the, the x plus 3 out, we're left with x squared plus 1. Okay. All right. So when we factor, you guys... 
AX squared plus BX plus C, and if we can't GCF out an A, okay, so, so if we do this, now there's a great method called guessing and checking. I'm not good at that, so I don't show that method, but if you are good at that, then please stick with that, you guys. I don't want to disrupt that because it's fantastic if you know how to do that. I, I just struggle with it. I really struggle teaching guessing and checking, so this method just is so systematic for me. It works every time, so, so I'm going to do it by an example, factoring 15X squared plus 16x plus 4. Okay, so the first thing we do is multiply the, the a times the c. So here it's the, the 15 times the 4. Okay, so 15 times 4 is 60. Okay, and then the second thing we do is we find factors of that number right there, this 60 right here. Factors, so what times what equals 60 that's going to add to this middle term right here? 16, okay? So what 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 times what equals 60 that adds to 16? Well, 10 times 6 also equals 60, and, and uh, 10 plus 6 adds to 16 right there. So now what we do is rewrite that polynomial, and we replace this guy right here, the 16x, with these numbers, 10x plus 6x right there. So let's go ahead and do that right there. So now we have... 15x squared plus 10x plus 6x plus 4. And then we take this polynomial and do what we just did in the prior thing and factor this by grouping. Okay, so here it is up there. So we'll group the first two right there. And then we can pull a 5x out of these guys. And out of these guys, we can pull a 2. Okay, so when we do that, we're left with the common binomial factor. And we pull that out and works every time, you guys. So there's no more guessing than checking, at least for me. All right, so let's try that with this one, okay? So here we're going to multiply 3 times negative 5. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, okay? And then other factors of negative 15 that add to this 14 are positive 15 times a negative 1. So let's rewrite that. So we'll write it as 3p squared plus 15p minus 1p minus 5. Then we'll group these two guys together. We'll group these two guys together. Now be careful, this minus sign right here, as soon as we put parentheses right there, it's going to change that minus sign to a plus sign right there, okay? So we pulled a minus sign out. We're pulling out a minus, um, uh, the minus. So if we redistributed that minus through, it would take us back up there, okay? Out of these two guys, we can pull a 3p out. Out of these two guys, we can pull a 1. And when we do that right there, we're left with um, uh, p plus 5, p plus 5. We can pull those out, and we're, we're left with 3p minus 1, okay? And the trick here right here, the, the part where kids will get tripped up is that minus sign. As soon as we put parentheses around it, it's going to change this sign to a plus right there, okay? That's the only tricky part on that one. All right, this one here. Okay, so if it leads off with a negative quadratic, we always pull a negative out first. So I'm going to pull a negative out and make it a, a positive 4x squared. It's going to change this to a minus 12x and change that to a minus 7, okay? Now we do this. Uh, 4 times negative 7 is negative 28, okay? And other factors of negative 28 that add to this negative 12, this now negative 12, or negative 14 times 2. So we'll rewrite this 4x squared minus 12x minus 7x and replace this with minus 14x plus 2x right there, okay? And then we'll GCF, uh, we'll group these two guys together and group these two guys together. See, we can only pull a 1 out of these two guys, okay? But we have to pull that out, okay? So here we can pull a, a 2 out of 4 and 14 and an x out of x squared and x. So And then here we can only pull a 1 out. So when we do that, um, don't forget about the minus sign. That minus sign carries along that we GCF'd out at the very beginning right there. All right, so they both now have a 2x minus 7, and then we're left with 2x plus 1. Don't forget about the minus sign right there. So, so there's our final answer right there, okay? All right. Here's another one right here, okay? So let's multiply 4 times 21. 4 times 21 is 84. Factors of 84 that add to 19 right there, okay? They are 12 and 7. 12 times 7 equals 84, and 12 plus 7 equals 19, okay? It's kind of hard to see sometimes, but if you just start breaking down, you know, 84, 1 times 84, 2 times uh, uh, 42, 3 goes into it, 4 goes into it, and just keep going until you get up to 12 times 7, okay? All right, so let's rewrite this, and we're going to replace the 19x with 12x plus 7x right there, okay? And then we'll group the first two together, and we'll group the second two together. Here we go. 
and then we can GCF out of these guys a 4x, out of these guys a, a 7, and so we're left with um, uh, x plus 3 when we do that to both of them, and when we pull that out, there we go. Works every time, you guys, okay? All right, let's try this guy right here. So we can uh, multiply these two guys. 6 times negative 4 is negative 8, okay? Or not negative 8, is negative 24. And then factors uh, that add up to this are negative 8 times 3. I was thinking ahead there, okay? Or 3 times negative 8. I'm choosing 3 times negative 8 because the 3 will pair up better with the 6, and the negative 8 will pair up better with the with the minus 4 right there. But you can do uh, negative 8 times 3. It just changes it around a little bit. All right, so now we're going to pull a 3y out of these guys. And then remember, we got to pull this negative out. When we pull that negative out, it's going to change that to a, a positive right there, OK? All right, and that's the only part where kids tend to get tripped up. When we pull this negative out, it changes that sign right there, OK? Pull a 3y out of that, pull a 4 out of that. And in both cases, we're left at 2y plus 1. And when we pull that out, uh, there's our final factor right there. All right, you guys, I know that was kind of fast. I hope that makes sense. And then when you are in our class, we're going to give you that assignment. Take care.